You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing uh, this run back because the last time they played off each other in, uh, I believe it was like Street Fighter League, I think, mm. I think uh, he was forced to play Ryu. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, think, I think Samurai was forced to play Ryu. And that was, that was pre Ryu's awakening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wonder, <laughs> I mean, like, I just kind of wonder whether or not he'll actually bring it out for someone like JB. Maybe not. Yeah. But, I mean, it'd be cool to see. Uh, mm. That's what I'm actually looking forward to. But all jokes aside, again, this is a matchup that's completely unpredictable. They've gone back and forth so many times. Yeah. Um, but JB, again, absolutely no slouch. One of the best machines in the world. Samurai, also pretty much up there oh, in yeah. terms of his Akuma play. It's sure. pretty much a coin toss. I don't even know. We'd have to just really call the match as it goes, David. It's going to be a lot of fun for sure. These are, again, two of the best that we have. And to meet in loser's side, you know, seeing the brackets in advance... I don't Ooh. know if that's what I would have predicted, but again, he, here they are. Uh, they've gotten here in part JB lost to Mortsy. That's who sent him to loser's side. Mortsy. Yeah? That's, All right. That's what it said. That's great. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And that's super cool. Uh, Samurai, of course, we saw earlier lose to Denkadius. That's mm -hmm. how he's down here. So characters <laughs> that we expect? Dang, the look that you gave me when I said that word. That was wild. I, I did not expect that. I always forget that JB was starting off into the loser side from top 16. Yeah, Again, man. both of these players prolific in the world of Street Fighter V, right? Seeing that name down below is uh, very interesting. Here we are. Big conversion off of that crouching heavy punch. A lot of a lot of pressure coming from the side of JB, mostly hovering around the heavy punch button. Samurai has not been able to at least counter just yet. Now stuck in this corner, exactly what Rashid's do, right? Pushing him through the corner, no throw. Boy, what a strong series of control this is from JB. I think we've hit double digits in the amount of heavy punches pressed. All right, well, Side Samurai, switch. again, always willing oh, to take I the lied. risk. I'm sorry. Oh, but he finally got it with the grab. <gasps> oh, boy. Barely not there. Yeah. Oh, big whiff punish from the side of Samurai. The last we'll see of that trigger. T Ooh. You know, the last we'll see of Rashid as well. Just enough damage for that throw, Samurai. Putting out that threat, JV was not ready for it. You know, they played in the last CPT NA West number two, and Samurai won it three games to one. He's starting it off looking good. Got the corner just like that. Almost as fast as JP had it last time. Here's JP though, ready. I like that. Oh, yeah. Big throw bait from the side of JB. Finds the target again. Forward throw. Oh, not. Wow. Mm -mm. And stun. And by the way, there's going to be super on this. Yes, and he does bring it out. I like that choice. I, take I absolutely oh, like that you choice. You would do it for sure. You would have to. You see the amount of life Samurai had left, right? It was like one touch or so from like a heavier button, even a throw, whatever. But the fact that Trigger still remained on the side of Akuma with two and some odd bars, right? That could have been any, like two conversions into a critical art, you're dead. So of course you're going to spend it. It's a slow walk for JB as he slowly pushes Samurai or intends to push Samurai into the mm. corner. Samurai's movement's always a little bit hard to predict. But I will say JB has done a great job of throwing out those normals at a safe distance just like that. Yeah, the crouching heavy punch just a little bit in Samurai's face. Not allowing him to rebuttal with any sort of whip punishes. Forcing him to spin that meter, trying to find an opening. But here comes the lockdown from Rashid. Ooh, what an interrupt. Mm -hmm. A significant and one. And just like that, Samurai's way out of the corner. He's got the life lead now. He's... Very far away from the corner. Oh, backs off. And in fact, JB's going to find the moment for himself. He's got corner pressure. He's got the trigger going. Oh, he's a threat. Into the corner himself, oh, though. Man. Samurai busts out. He's got his own trigger if he wants to activate, of course. He was willing to sacrifice any sort of opening for that positioning. Yeah, well, Samurai we saw JB try that before, right? He's gone to the corner before, and it worked this time. No one to wake up from Samurai expecting the walk backwards. That is the classic. Low forward to check. Whilst in V-trigger, but... No longer a threat. One touch. One touch for Samurai. JB does have a little bit more to work with. Does have good trigger two. Yeah, that's why Samurai was walking up and blocking, expecting the roll. Oh. And then the trade for Samurai brings out Dragon Punch. He's never in his life been afraid to bring out a Dragon Punch in a moment like that, even in a game where there's no invincibility on hits. He's clutched that out. He's clutched out so many rounds with that exact kind of sequence. Like, yeah. if, if there's like a, a moment to spare with, with any sort of frame traps, he's going to be mashing DP. <laughs> Without a doubt. He's going to be mashing DP. Ooh. He's been called out on it by... 
numerous players. <laughs> but is that going to stop him? No, as long as it produces results, right? No, he has a really intentional style. He he makes choices that are hard to predict, but the thing is that he thinks about them in advance. They may come across as being random, but he has a justification for this stuff. With Samurai, it's never random. No, That's no. how I feel. Totally. It's never random. Ooh. Another significant jab, and again, a very similar sequence as what we saw in that third round between these two finding his way, finding the gap, threading the needle with these normal stand jab, being a really big catalyst to open up for the heavy punch. And now it's all Samurai making quick work. Uppercut, uh-uh-uh, spend that cash, get the stun, build some meter as well. Ooh-wee, I'm liking this momentum from Samurai. And he's been caught with his back in the corner in both of the last two games, and each time he's been battling back. This is like the first time he's done round start forward movement. It's very often been him fighting True. from a defensive position. Ooh. Oh, he got caught moving, but the whirlwind shot still. Keeping him grounded, by the way. JB catches the crush counter in the quarter. Not a big deal, not a huge deal. Decent amount of damage nonetheless. It's not quite enough. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, there's the side switch we were looking for off that back heavy punch. And now forward throw into the corner. JB is in a lot of trouble. Does have the trigger ready. Oh, my God. The cross cut. Dragon punch still finds the mark. I was so scared, David. JP, oh, funky situation, but he's right up close and he can definitely take it. <gasps> he does Samurai. it again. He does it again. He checks with the low forward. As JB was walking back, you cannot escape from death from there. That was pretty <laughs> wild. Those from end of Samurai. game situations twice. That one calling out the backwards movement with his low check like you describe. And Ooh. at the end of the first game when he did the three-frame DP, which is a better choice in that instance than doing the three-frame jab, which gets blown up on crush counter with mediums, of course. Like th Those two choices at the end, again, like you look at it, and if this was somebody you didn't know, you'd be like, wow, that was a, quite a wild decision. <laughs> but when it comes to Samurai, those are things that he's thought about in advance and has game plan for. And he takes it on the strength of, it, in significant part, I would say, on reads like that. Because in a couple of those rounds, he was, again, caught with his back to the corner and had to fight out. And in that last round, his, the reason that he got out again was right EXDP. He did a back throw at one point to regain corner control. So it was him fighting from a defensive spot and then turning it into really good offense and, and into damage, right? These situations where JB's pressuring the DP comes out, or the down medium kick comes out instead. One of those two, and, and for Samurai, I'm always super impressed to see his decision making. It's one mm -hmm. of the most unique and most interesting in the scene.